Hey guys, today we're going to talk about um, average atomic mass and more in depth. So let's review what isotopes are. Isotopes are atoms of the same element that have different masses. They have the same number of protons and electrons because they're neutral, but different numbers of neutrons. Different numbers of neutrons, so therefore they have a different mass number. Most elements consist of mixtures of isotopes in nature. Don't forget that the mass number is the total number of protons and neutrons that make up the nucleus of an isotope. Um, it's usually written at the top, whereas the atomic number, the number of protons, is written at the bottom. Um, so that would be a nucleide symbol for chlorine. This would be a different isotope of chlorine. Notice that it's the same element, same number of protons, but different mass number at the top. Don't forget, if they do not give you a number for the mass number, you can take that um, atomic mass that's on the periodic table and round it to the nearest whole number. Uh, so they didn't tell us, they did not give us the mass number, so we rounded that 15.99 to the nearest whole number. So it says how many protons, electrons, and neutrons are there in an atom of chlorine 35. Uh, since it's after a dash, that is the mass number, so that goes on top you need to use the periodic table to find the atomic number for chlorine. And when you do it, you look up at 17. Now, from this, you can figure out the protons, neutrons, and electrons. The bottom number, the atomic number, is always the protons. You have to subtract. Mass number minus atomic number will give you the number of neutrons. And when you subtract here, that's 18. Now the last one, uh, electrons, since there's nothing written in the top corner here, it's blank, that means it's neutral. So the protons and the electrons are equal. So chlorine 35 has 17 protons, 18 neutrons, and 17 electrons. Now we've talked about mass number, but let's talk about atomic mass. Scientists use, um, to compare atomic mass, they use the carbon-12 atom which has been arbitrarily assigned a mass of exactly 12 atomic mass units. Um, I think they picked carbon just kind of at random. It was one of the basic elements. Um, so they took its mass divided by 12, and each one of those units is exactly one atomic mass unit. And we abbreviate that AMU. It's 1 12th the mass of carbon 12. Now, the atomic mass of any other atom is determined by comparing it with the mass of carbon 12. So today we're going to focus on uh, calculating what's called the average atomic mass, and it is the weighted average of the atomic masses of naturally occurring isotopes of an element. So for carbon, for example, has carbon-12 and carbon-14 that show up. So based on how much carbon-12 is in the world and how much carbon-14 is in the world, we can calculate the exact average mass of carbon for the periodic table. Um, it depends on both the mass and the abundance of each of the elements isotopes. So maybe, you know, maybe 90% of carbon is carbon 12 and only 10% is carbon 14. I don't, I don't know, I just made those numbers up. Um, but depending on how much of each isotope you have, that affects the overall average for the periodic table. So there's three basic steps for calculating average atomic mass. You need to make sure you know those steps really well. The first thing you'll do is take the percent and convert it to a decimal by moving the um, decimal place in the percent over twice, one, two. Um, then whatever you get for that decimal, you're going to multiply by the mass that they give you for each isotope. Um, and then you will add up the products from step two. So if there's two isotopes, you'll add two numbers at the end. If there's five isotopes, you'll add five numbers at the end. So you always follow the same three steps. So let's do an example using those three steps. You want to convert the percents to decimals first. So for this one, we have 25%. Um, let's move the decimal over. So it's 0 0.250. And then 75%. So we'll change that to 0 0.750. Okay. And then you want to multiply those decimals by the mass. They tell us the mass for this one is 28. And for this one is 29. So times 28 times 29. And then you plug that into your calculator. 
Um, and since the mass number, that's an exact number, we want to use the percentage for our sig figs. So that's three sig figs. You'll do, this is 7.00 when you multiply. And when you multiply this one, you get 21.8. So that's step two. And then step three, you're going to add up the products. So whatever you get from both steps, you will add together. Uh, that's the 7 plus the 21.8 add them up, you get 28.8. And our unit for this is atomic mass units, AMU. Okay, let's do one more example. We've got um, a copper. Copper consists of 69.15% copper 63, which has an atomic mass of 62.929601 AMU, and 30.65 copper 65, which has an atomic mass of 64.927794 AMU. Um, so the difference between this one and the last one is that they give you the mass number, but they also give you the atomic mass, the specific relative mass compared to carbon-12 of each of those copper isotopes. So we're going to actually use the um, relative mass here because it's a lot more accurate than using the whole number. Um, so getting using just the 63 like we did in the last problem, it's much, much rounded numbers. We're going to get a, a more accurate number using the relative. Okay, so step one, you're going to write the percents as decimals. So we're gonna write the 0.6915, and then the 30% will change to 0 0.3085. So that's step one. Step two, you're going to multiply by the mass. Now remember, this time we wanna use the accurate relative atomic mass of 62.929601. And then for the second one, of 64.927794. And then you want to report your answers to the lower number of sig figs. So in this case, it's four sig figs. So for this one, it's 43.52 when you plug it in your calculator. And for the second one, you get 20.03 when you plug it in your calculator. And that's step two, when you multiply by the mass. Last step, you will add up the products. So these two, you want to add them up. Five, five, three, six. So the atomic mass of copper is 63.55 AMU. And remember, it's always atomic mass units, AMU.